Hello and welcome to another episode of Shampoo and Booze. We are in the same room for episode number 83. You can check us out on YouTube, youtube.com slash shampoo and booze. We are at shampooandbooze.com. You can email us your listing, shampooandbooze at gmail.com, or you can check out our design services, notperf.com. And we could do all this not on video. Right now, we're going to check out a one-bedroom suite in Keene, New Hampshire, which is surprisingly close to where we are right Currently, at this moment, which we is are, Vermont. We are in snowy Vermont. It is actually snowing right now. And we're in an Airbnb. <laughs> So it's like All of we're the in things. a vortex. Here. All of the things. All right. This is a one bedroom suite. So it's sort of a private room, two room suite in someone's house. Historic downtown Keene. Keene is very cool. It's very walkable. It has a university. So there's a lot of like hipness happening downtown. And having a one room private suite situation within someone else's house is so common on Airbnb. So we thought it would be great to just see what the situation is and what kind of advice we can give. Okay, so we can see here the shot of the bed looks beautiful. Although it's funny because the other two photos in the like gallery picture are of downtown Keene, which I think is interesting, but if you're coming to downtown Keene, like we always say, you don't necessarily have to show us. Like, one of them's like a walking map. I don't think we need to see that in the first, you know, gallery photo. You might put that at the end. That's okay. Like, hey, you can just walk here, which is great. Yeah, so anytime that you have a listing where you want to highlight your area, it should go at the end. Yeah. And you should be highlighting your room, your space, your house. Those first. Things. Now, it's funny because in her title up top, Walk to Downtown Keene, One Bedroom Suite, she puts these stars, and I, I, which is cute, but I wonder if that affects your search ranking, like not mm -hmm. having just text. Um, also, you're losing some characters that way, and you're losing characters when you say one bedroom, queen suite, period, and one is not a number. So I think they're... There are things you can do there to put more words in, but also walk to downtown Keene is kind of a great thing for search. I mean, like, it could just walk it could even just say downtown Keene, right. one bedroom suite, walkable yeah, area something. or something. Like, like written a little bit better. Yeah. So right away, my first impressions are it's bright, it's sunny, it's clean. You know, I'm seeing everything I need, but the first thing my eye is drawn to is that the the way that the bed is made just feels a little bit like it's nice, but it could be better. Are you thinking like tucked in like hospital corner type deal? I think potentially for the bedspread, it looks like the bed has a bed skirt, which you wouldn't tuck in. Um, but I think the spread itself should have hospital corners. And I wonder about a bed like this, if it needs a bed skirt, is it okay to see under a bed like this? Because the bed itself is made to be seen through. Mm -hmm. So the bed skirt to me looks like another mattress or a mattress that's covered, which I don't think it is. I think it is a bed skirt and it looks a little sloppy, even though it's this like amazing iron, raw iron bed. So I feel like if that can get cleaned up a little bit to really highlight the actual piece of furniture, which is kind of amazing. I think the other elements of the room too, that it's like you have this big strong bed that has, you know, like a big design to it. But then the other things in the room are just kind of small mm -hmm. and diminished by the like grandeur of this bed. And so I feel like some ways that you could help are having like a, you have a little chair with an extra blanket and like maybe an extra throw pillow, but you could have actually a little bit more substantial of a chair or the bed um, side tables could be more substantial. And then I think also bringing some artwork up, uh -huh. you know, it's like the room is weighted by this big bed, but then the rest of the room just feels a little bit blank. And so without overdoing it, you could kind of just like anchor the eyes up a little bit with some 
um, artwork and maybe some more substantial furniture. Yeah, I like the idea of artwork on the um, sides there, like where the um, above the bedside tables, it's like the perfect place for two matching pieces of like vintage art. Yeah, that would that would balance it out really mm -hmm. well. I really like the lamps on the bedside table um, as well. I'm sure we'll see those again. When I first looked at this listing, I found this confusing because this is right. She says sitting room next to the bedroom. Um, room has a connecting door. So you're like, this is next to it. But I feel like I still want to be in the bedroom. Like I want, I'm, I'm like transported to the next room. But again, with with the gallery of Airbnb, you kind of want this to be the second photo. So whatever makes sense to you. But yeah, it's a little bit like bed, other bed. The other thing about this in terms of design is I feel like there's too much colorful, like cl clutter colorful happening here. Red, green, checkers. Like it's just the first photo feels very cohesive, like blue, black, brightness and this is just kind of like you know there's also a lot of different design elements here so you have like this super modern futon couch that looks like it could convert into a bed I think it does yeah but then there's like a trunk case and then there's like the air Mananoc sign it's like there's like some vintage stuff and then there's like the grandma quilt um, which all in their own right could really work in a particular space. But I think in this space, it feels a little bit like I don't know what's bringing this whole thing together. So I'm distracted by this couch. Like to me, something else that could be a pull-out couch, like a, uh, an Ikea type thing. Like to me, this looks a very like chrome and leather and it's just a bizarre combo for like your historic house your raw iron bed and like that beautiful trunk and the vintage-ish sign and like this is super distracting to me mm -hmm. design wise I'm like what is this couch even doing in here mm -hmm. um I know it converts into a bed but I feel like you need a different <laughs> thing in there totally like, and if if changing the couch out weren't um desirable for whatever reason you could work with the throw pillows, work with the... A um, cover or the, something. You, right, or like work with a different blanket. And then I would say, this is like forever, I will say this, change the lampshade so that it's a modern yeah, cut that of could, a lampshade. That could help us. And just like help bring the room all into one color palette. Um, yeah. And just like sort of straighten everything out that way. Yeah. If the couch couldn't be changed. Yeah. Okay, so you're two blocks from downtown Keene, which is awesome. I think you should move this photo. Downtown Keene's awesome. There's so much going on. There's like three or four coffee shops. You're like, what? This is so cool. There's a th independent theater. Um, we hung out there last year. It's really funny because she's like, we're in Keene. You were just in Keene. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> I like stayed in a hotel, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, Keene's awesome. And, and I think you should highlight it. Uh, this is maybe not the best photo of downtown Keene. It looks like it just rained. Um, there, here's a clock. I don't know if you can like show a cool coffee shop or the theater. You might show that stuff later, but I feel like you can put this stuff in, but yeah. Again, this should get moved. I don't even know if you really need this. This is a weird photo. Um, this might be something you give people in the room. Yeah, like I, I feel like on the right, there are, so it's mural locations, which is interesting. They have a whole mural project that yep, they did. But I can't actually read the map. You know, I can yeah. read the locations on the right, but this isn't something that I would refer to um, myself as a guest, so it feels a little bit super, yeah. per, superfluous. Yeah. This is your house, and it is beautiful. Yes. It's amazing. I feel like this photo is crooked, mm -hmm. um, so you can straighten it in Photoshop or take a different photo. I think it's good to show the front of your house, because, like, what a cool, it's amazing... I want you to turn your garage slash carriage house into another Airbnb. Yes, and we will stay there, and we will give <laughs> you design advice. I want that to be a thing. Yeah. Now, here's where it gets interesting with your photos. You kind of walk us through how we get up to our bedroom, and we still haven't seen the full like layout of the bedroom and the bathroom and the upstairs yet. So I feel like 
either this comes later or this doesn't happen or this comes when you like draw a layout of the house and how mm -hmm. you because I just feel like now we're at the front door and it it, it feels confusing beautiful door oh though. my god gorgeous yeah keep this photo just in the wrong order <laughs> look at that floor I know it's amazing you're walking us through how to get to the bedroom and I get that yeah um, and it looks like you have a wood stove in the back so charming I mean this house is beautiful Okay, so I feel like you don't need this photo at all. I, I don't know. I You're agree. walking us through, and I get that, but I just feel like it's it's like too much. Like mm -hmm. when we get there, we'll figure it out, or we'll meet you because we are literally in your house. Mm -hmm. So, yep. I don't actually mind this picture. Okay. There's something to me that says, like, the spaces are explained. Yes. The privacy is clear. Right. I know where I can go. I know where I can't go. So I actually don't mind this photo. So here we have another uh, angle of the bedroom, which I think is really helpful. Yep. Because you're showing us into the next sitting room slash uh, other bedroom, I guess, because mm -hmm. it is sort of another bedroom. I don't know if this needs to be in one of the beginning photos as the gallery photo, though, because... I think so. You think so? I okay. would make this your second photo. Okay. Because it it shows us other elements of the room. It shows us the sitting room. And I see, like, bathrobes on the left here, which makes me think yeah. maybe there's a bathroom right there. Now, the other thing that I do want to comment on is you have this beautiful vintage house... You have, this room is gorgeous, like it's painted, it's clean, it's got this beautiful bed, it's got a fireplace, plants, but that artwork is so distracting to me. It is very like 90s, early 2000s quirky, and I feel like it just does not, it does not work in this room. Um, and maybe that's the artwork that goes in the sitting room. And that's what, you know, there's like more color, there's yes. more something. But in this room, I feel like the bedspread and the bed kind of set the tone. Yes. And so follow that tone. Like I think over the um, fireplace, you could put a beautiful mirror um, and then maybe don't have that kind of um, artwork on the side there, but have artwork above the... Behind the bed. Yeah, behind yeah, the bed like we were side. talking about. Yep. And and let that kind of bedspread and wall color and floor color dictate that feeling yes. because this these stand out so much. And like you said, these are colorful and quirky like the other room. Mm -hmm. So maybe move those over. But yeah. this room's got kind of almost a romantic feel and... You want to keep that vibe. I also, this is always my thing, is I wonder if there are actual curtains on the windows. So, like, is there a drop down a privacy that happens? Curtain. Because I know those curtains aren't going to be for privacy, privacy reasons in, in the night. So, yeah, that's another question I have. I love this. I think so this is cute. in the bedroom. It's just a little space heater. Yeah, I've used these before and they're, I think they're adorable. Yeah. Because you can't, you know, if you, I don't like people setting fire to things inside my house. Yes. So yeah. if this was a working fireplace, fine, but it looks like you have the same idea. It's like it's cute, cute, it's cozy, it's romantic, mm -hmm. and it's fake. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the entrance to the sitting room, probably from the hallway? Or the bedroom. Or the bedroom, but... Either way, it's clearly marked, and we that's good. It's fine with me. Yeah. Interesting. So I feel like this is actually a better picture than the previous one. The previous yeah. one felt like it made the room look really, really small, small, and actually the rug kind of ties things together in a better way. I still stick to the advice before, but I think this is a better picture. The couch is not as glaring mm -hmm. in this photo mm -hmm. um if you need to keep that couch I still think I want one that's not black I what okay what do you think of the two glass bottle of Pellegrino or bottle of wine picture because we see it all the time here's my thing about that in all practicality if you are not providing a bottle of wine and there's a bottle of wine in that photo I mean, you might be suggesting, oh, you brought a bottle of wine and you're hanging out and you're watching TV and you're watching a movie. Um, I just don't like setups like that if, I, if I'm not going to walk in and there's a bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. Like, it's almost like you're suggesting, like, and here's a local bottle of wine. 
that I'm going to provide to you. And you might not. Like, I see the wine bottle photos mm-hmm. all the time. And I never use those in my Airbnbs because I'm not giving you wine. I'm giving you creamer. Yes. <laughs> and, and tea sugar. <laughs> and coffee. Like, yeah. in the, you know, but I... It's like I like to show what we're going to give you, but I'm not giving you wine, so... I think, to me, it always feels like a romantic setup. Yeah. And so often with, like, a private room in a house, it's not my idea of a romantic setup. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> There's no private. It's like we're in town for a conference. Right. Or we are having a nice weekend together, but there's something about it that feels, like, suggestive in a way that... Like, what if it's just, like... A mother and daughter coming yeah. to stay or something. Which they could be hanging out drinking a glass totally. of wine for sure. So I just, I don't know. I always feel a little bit like meh about the yeah. two. I actually think this might even, there's another picture where it might be a bottle of water, which is fine. It's just, there's something about it that just feels a little bit too staged. I just, I just don't think that those are necessary suggestions. Mm-hmm. You're yeah. like, I'm going to come, I'm I'm probably gonna have a bottle of wine. I have a bottle of wine with me here. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, it's de- we're definitely on like a work trip right yes. now, yep. and uh, yeah, you don't have to tell. You don't yeah. have to tell me. I'm yep. gonna have a glass of wine. Yep. Trust me. Okay, so there. here's. Yep. <laughs> I love how this is the longest conversation about a bottle. Um, I just don't think it's nice. I, like me neither. Like, you, are if, you giving me a bottle of Pellegrino? Yes, that's awesome. Right, right, right. Um, but if you're not. Don't even show it. You yeah. don't need to. Yeah. You just don't. And if there's a beverage area, like, show us that. Show us that. But, yeah. That's more important. Anyway. Coffee, I just... tea. We just see it all the time. Yeah, we do. We and do. It's really like... not a problem. It's just sometimes I'm like, is it necessary? Right. Is right. it always going to be there? Exactly. So, that's my thought. Aha. Okay. There is a there beverage is a beverage center. S- <laughs> there is a beverage center. Right. We love the we always you need this. Yes. You always need this. I'm in. Um it looks, looks like, like a K cup. <laughs> Which we have bum, feelings bum, about. Bum. And I understand why you chose that for this situation. Yeah, of course. It's a small it's a non kitchen situation. It's a not a kitchen. You do have a fridge to put your bottle of wine, which you bought down the street. Okay. I also see like maybe a first aid kit. Yep. And an ice bucket? An ice bucket. Uh, I don't know what that is, but great. Okay. There's like some complimentary things. Maybe this is where you have like a couple glasses, some bottled water, like, right. you know. I, the things you were showing us in that yes. other, like if there are wine glasses and mugs, like I don't mm-hmm. see where your mugs are, but um, we definitely need to see that because yep. I have, swear to you, I have been to places where I'm like, was I supposed to bring my own coffee mug? <laughs> like, should I have brought my own silverware? Because yeah. I don't know. Right. Uh, yeah. Oh, so. it says water bottles in the mini fridge. Love it. Okay, great. Yep. I love this bathroom. Yeah, and it seems like it's, she says, this bathroom is all yours. So this is a private bathroom. You're not sharing it with anyone. I mean, okay. that's amazing. This should be like your third photo. I think this should be in the gallery yes. beginning photo because what a cool vintage sort of got some antique touches but it's clean and like bright love that painting i love that painting on this the wall. whole thing is um, great. i don't necessarily lo- love I, i'm confused by that other wall though with the door like going the painting on it. i'm like yeah. is there a door in this room that goes outside are you suggesting <laughs> Ryan's that? Lost already. yeah i'm like <laughs> but you know that's just a different style yeah i also just as a note like all of your descriptions have been yes. spot on yes everything has lots been of information really good way better than my own airbnb yeah i'm like <laughs> you did great you did you're doing great yeah i think this bathroom's great but it should be like for sure the third or fourth photo it's a really nicely taken photo yes. too of a bathroom like yes. bathrooms are hard to we take never photos like of bathroom photos yeah because they're so hard to you have a big enough bathroom too that you can stand back and I do it. also like that you kind of tell people that the exposed beams are a little bit like closer to the taller people oh that's funny and I think yeah. that's great another, another good photo beautiful photo I mean those beams yeah I see why you're like this is a very short I can tell that's a <laughs> short door yeah. like you're ducking out of it. I'm like five three and I'm like yep um <laughs> Great bathroom. God, what a great size. Yeah, it's wonderful. You paint. I love the painting. Now, so 
I don't know if someone's an artist in the house and you have little labels or stuff. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Original art on display. You told by a local me. Artist. Right there. Yeah. Um, okay. That's cool. So it's a little gallery. I like that painting, actually. Yeah. I think it's super cute it's and perfect. local. Um, some of the artwork in the other room I thought was distracting, but I think you could move it. Hallway yeah. or in the sitting Hallway, room. Hallway, sitting room. Love it. I don't mind this photo. Look, we we were talking about this similar photo in a kitchen in the West Virginia house, and we were like, well, you don't really need to show us that you have silverware, because if you don't have silverware, that's, that's a problem. Weird. This is great. Look, you have extra toothbrushes. Look, also, they're so like cute. little Dr. Bronner's bottles. I... Like, you're a person of my own heart. Yes. Like, this is this is great. Uh, there are so many times I've been to an Airbnb. We're in an Airbnb right now. And I'm like, is there soap? Or am I, like, buying soap? Mm-hmm. This is great. Okay, so this is in the hallway outside the bedroom door. I don't mind that you show this. Like, there's a little hangout area. I almost feel like... This is not a place where I would hang out uh, because why would I just sit in the hallway? But if you honestly put a little desk or something, you know, like a little more practical Mm -hmm. where I got to work on the computer for a couple hours. My partner's like reading a book or something. Right. My partner's taking a nap Mm -hmm. and I need to get on my email. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like if... If you're going to have this space be a usable space, I just find sitting areas like this in a hallway are not, like, who's going to sit, or am I sitting there to put my shoes on? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Or put a little coffee table so I can hang out in the morning on my laptop. I don't know. Like, make it more usable. Also, it's just an awkwardly taken picture. It should come up, like, come up a little bit. This is, like, the view of, like, a child. Like yeah. coming either up the stairs or around a corner. Anyway, a little more orientation of this space. I'm also like, there's a, seems like there's a sitting area outside of another sitting area. Right. And I'm like, wait, what? Is there, isn't there already a sitting area? So just this, if this picture could be oriented in a different way, and then maybe the description just says more. Aha. Okay. Art. This, this is what was in the bedroom. Yeah. And this is what's two. in the bathroom. Well, so, Okay. I actually like these art pieces now that I've seen them closer. Like, I mm-hmm. love the little houses mm-hmm. um, and the little quilt. It looks like a mixed media quilt thing. Mm-hmm. Mixed media artist. Okay. So, like, I just think those need to move into the other room. I think mm-hmm. they're, they are really cute, but they're distracting in that bedroom. And um, they would look really good in the sitting room with that quilt. Like yeah. something more in the style of the bottom left painting yes. in the bedroom. Yes. Um, on it's either classic. side of the bed. Like landscape, greens, golds, like that bedroom totally. would be great with that. I totally agree with that. This Aha. is a better photo. Better photo. I would use this instead of Take that of other the one out. One. You're like, you're coming up the stairs, yeah. uh, the bedroom's on the left. And maybe this, is, this sitting room. is in the sequence of the... You know, it's the front hallway, it's the stairs, it's, it's the upstairs. This, and then you're going in the bedroom. And that's it. I still think I want... So we're in an Airbnb right now that does not have, like, a desk. Oh, there's a desk in the mm-hmm. bedroom. Um, but, yeah, like, I feel like you could use a spot that it's big enough to have, to a, have little a little... writing desk, something. like, on the right. Yeah. It's just to, like, pop your laptop on. Or even, like, a, a more comfortable chair with a bigger, like... Um, Side table or something. I actually love that idea. Like a A chair with an ottoman. A chair with an ottoman and a side side table. table. Because there are so many times where Jay wakes up super early. Mm -hmm. I'm still asleep. He wants to get on his laptop and drink a cup of coffee. Not in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Now I know there's like the other sitting area. But if someone else is sleeping in there. This is the perfect like get up early. Made a cup of coffee. Getting on my laptop outside of the bedroom situation yeah, so 100%. comfier chair ottoman side table lamp yeah. and one of or use the area one of those chairs could go into the bedroom on the left of the bed because they're really to nice. just like bulk up that i think the chair in the bedroom was too small because those chairs are beautiful chairs mm-hmm. i bet they say like keen stayed on them mm-hmm. or whatever um people collect those chairs they're beautiful and yeah. i think you could use that space better this is the other side of the hallway uh, so that's the, where bathroom's the bathroom downstairs. is i actually like this photo i feel like it, it's helpful it yeah. shows where the bathroom is in relation to the two yeah yeah i don't think you need this because mm-hmm. we already saw it just now yep we're like we get we go down we go in the bathroom 
Agreed. I think you can take this out. So this is the front hallway again. I don't think you need to show. Nope. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think, think you need, need to it. show it again. Agreed. Although that lamp is amazing. Yeah. Okay, now we're getting into Keen. Keen. Which is okay. I think all the Keen stuff should go in the back. I feel like the couple of photos that you've pulled from Keen are probably from a website, which is why they seem a little bit lower quality and maybe more strangely cropped. Right. So I would say if you can get better photos or take your own that are, you know, seasonal yeah. like this, great. But I, it's sometimes pictures like these don't feel that helpful or interesting. Okay, there's one of your coffee shops. That's nicer than the rainy picture. Yeah. Who's this? Yeah, it's sunny. People mm -hmm. are walking around. I totally went to this place. Cute. Maybe, yeah, I think it's fine. There's plants. You're like, go hang out. Okay, so this is the famous theater. Um, I don't know if you took this photo. It looks like a professional photo, probably from their website. Um, I think it's okay to show it. Me too. Farmer's Market. Why not? Yeah. This also looks like a catalog photo. So it depends this on looks... how many. So we're about 31 in, which isn't bad. Right. Mount Monadnock, super uh, popular mountain. Right. I've climbed it myself. It's gorgeous. Um, maybe you need, need a, a better, better photo. Picture. <laughs> it's pixelated. It came from a, a website. Website somewhere. Yeah. yeah no. 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 This looks like a bad advertisement. Although it's cool that there are wineries nearby. So Ryan on her, one of her, all of your Airbnbs, yeah. has like a map with little stars of things that are important in the area. I feel like do that. if you want to highlight these things, you know, if you, you can do it or get a friend to just make a little mock-up of that. Because if there's a wine, yeah. And showing like the general area of your space. You don't have to obviously put the exact right. address. It's not ideal. But what's around in your area, what's walkable, what's within driving distance. And show the things that people are coming for. Because there are a few wineries slash wedding venues that mm -hmm. people are like, how far are you from this? I just put it mm -hmm. on the map. We are three miles from this because so many people come for that. So if there's a specific uh, winery that you're like, you need to go here, mm -hmm. it's here. Where's Mount Monadnock? It's here. Mm -hmm. exactly. So that, okay, we're just going to drive there as a day trip because this is too generic. Mm -hmm. Like this is too. Right. Again, Again same, same, same thing. Same, same. Tell me where to go. Okay, that's fine. So Keen, I don't know how many people are flying into Keen to come to Keen. Um, I don't think this is necessary. Yeah, it doesn't. It, it is right there, but yeah. uh, people are probably driving from Boston. And you can yeah. say in your description or the wherever. distances from things. You yeah. don't have to put it in your photos. And you can have it in that map. Like, mm -hmm. okay, here's the airport. If people are coming from the airport, um, here's all the places. Like, I think you can get away with that. Okay, that's the last photo. Beautiful room. I think with a couple little things just rearranging the order of things could be fine. Um, a couple little design things to change up is fine. Uh, I think you have a beautiful house. I think your style is spot on. Your place looks great. Yeah, we want to stay there. Yeah, absolutely. I want you to change your carriage house into an entire house. Totally. <laughs> Let us know when you're ready to do that. We'd love to consult. Yeah. I would love to come do a reno at your place. They're like, we park our cars in there. Like, we use it. Right? <laughs> We're like, turn it into an Airbnb. Please. So sure. thanks for watching. This is uh, another episode of Shampoo and Booze. Uh, Shampooandbooze.com. We have design services. If you want to hire us to consult, uh, give you some design advice, you can find that at notperf.com. And don't forget to subscribe through YouTube, youtube.com slash shampoo and booze. Um, make comments on our YouTube channel. Also, send us your listings so we can review them and give you kind and truthful design advice. Um, so send us anything you want <laughs> at shampooandbooze at gmail.com. Bye. Bye.